So here's Barry judging Murray. I bet you the pair of them haven't put those two factors together. So here we go. Coming in now, under the clocks, Murray Lampert. Murray's a great cross-country rider, show jump rider, so he'll be looking for a good score here. Nice halt salute. Shoulder in's good, fractionally unsteady, but you know, being right at the top, you have to live on the edge. Yes, nice medium, very professionally produced, maybe not as expansive as some of the other horses. Shoulder in right is good. That was a good job looking for the medium trot here. Yeah. It was well packaged, put together. We will be scoring. Now we've got the diagonal. Extended trot, here we come. Whoops. And under the clocks, just got a little above the bit there, which impacted on him being hugely evenly and powerful, even and powerful to start with. And he certainly, just after the halfway mark, settled down and started to go. But it did interfere with the extended trot that he's capable of producing. Half pass right was very nice. Murray brought his experience to, to bear to do that counter change of hand. The left half pass was magnificent. Half passes have been a highlight. There's no question about that. Good walk. Very purposeful. Good over track there, good frame. Here he goes for the extended walk. And he's reaching for the bid. It's a slightly lengthened frame, increased over track. Judges will love that. They will love that. That's a good job. Murray coming back into medium walk, turning left, got the halted X, immobility, five steps back, proceeding canter left without. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, just one stride too many, a little unsteady in the halt, and then just hesitated moving off into canter left. No mistakes made, but just not beautifully packaged enough to get up with some of the riders before Murray. Certainly moving his head around a little bit there in the canter. Settling maybe, no, just whoa, whoa, whoa. And you could see it was just unsettled with that head moving and then you could see he started to struggle with the idea of the counter canter. Counter canter initially started out causing no trouble at all for the, the first few riders but it is really causing some grief now for some of the, the later riders. It is a difficult movement. Here he's straightening up with the flying change. Here it goes. Whoops. And that was late behind. It was a bit of a lunge. That's often the hallmark of a young horse that hasn't consolidated the flying changes and then under pressure, which is what they are under in the competition arena, they then just just don't do their best shot and, and they need to do their best shot as youngsters. Otherwise, they, they'd make a technical mistake like that. Medium candle was quite well defined. It was Medium canter circle. Now we're into the counter canter going the other way. Can Murray hold it together? Yeah, Murray bringing all his experience to bear to just try and keep that counter canter, which he successfully did do. The half 10 metre circle here, which lines up the flying change. Now here he goes. Murray setting the horse up. And a clean change to the left. That was good. Murray will be very pleased with himself. And he had to fall back on those consummate experience to do that which he did do and the horse very happily obliged then we have the extended canter down this long side and we're very near the end of it murray certainly still opening the throttles up and doing a proper extended canter down there down the center line and the halt the salute and ladies and gentlemen 
That is Murray Lamford and under the clocks. And that completes the test now he's just waiting for the scores to come through, which they Murray haven't Lamford done yet. So Kudamudu like will be of enormous interest to us. Ridden by Lauren Balcom because that was definitely a test to challenge for the lead. 